think it's the land of the fiddle con. When, when did, well, when did you start to, I'm playing? afraid I have to learn oh. it. Oh, well, <laughs> now you, you made a food, that's a fair show. Now, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Well, I was ten years old. I started. I had nobody to teach me. And, but I managed to learn the skill and from the skill to something else. And, and mm. then I became a professional. You became a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. For God's sake, don't put in that. That's <laughs> <laughs> only for the crack is in that now. I wouldn't like it to come out on television. No. James, what about you? <laughs> It's all by ear, you know. It's uh, all by ear. Is that the way the traditional well, that's fiddle That's the is best now? way to learn the traditional fiddle, you know. Uh -huh. But we sort of learn from the lulters as well, you know, and that's why you get this lult in traditional music, you know, as you're supposed to get it in any way, you know. There was never more good fiddle players in Ireland than there is today. Because it's a great there instrument. There are thousands of them. There are hundreds of them anyway. And it's a great way, it's a great great way of young, playing the instrument. Great young fiddle players. Yes. Because they have the opportunity now to learn any man's style that they take a fancy to. Long ago there was no radio, there was no television. If it's only, if only a, a travelling class man came round, that's not the man they could hear. But now they can buy tapes by the score if they have the money to buy them and listen to any man. And if you're interested in a fiddle, a cardi, a banjo or anything, you have the opportunity to learn. And my opinion, above all the tenor music is throughout the world, and every country has its own sort of music, I think traditional Irish music is the nicest of them all. <laughs>